Once the balls fly, the hazards come into play. Water, sand, and fox. Usually the, the first comment is, uh, what's the deal you know, with the fox? Uh, the next comment is, he, uh, he took my ball. That's right, this 15-pound red fox loves to leave his hiding place and steal golf balls. Just put a drive in the fairway and the fox tails are soon to follow. The first ball theft experience was, I believe, the first group the first day we opened. Uh, he took uh, took a couple balls from them. The guy hit up on the green. The fox came out of the bushes, came up, started sniffing at the ball. We were about 150 out, started screaming and yelling, waving back and forth. They looked at us, sniffed at it, and ran away. All three of us were on the fairway, and uh, we we're standing in our cars. And the person here comes this fox. He comes out, stands over the ball, picks it up, and leaves. That guy from Maine just about died. He couldn't believe it. The best story is a gentleman uh, was playing, and he knew of the fox and had experienced it before. So he took his expensive ball, replaced it with a bad ball, and the fox came up to it and wouldn't take it. Hasn't got one of my balls yet. Three to five foxes call the course home, but this one is considered the main culprit. Few golfers consider him a nuisance, most a novelty. But one question everyone seems to have is, what happens to the golf balls? We were hoping he was putting them in one place and we'd soon find that place. But I think he's putting them everywhere. So as the fairway heists continue, so do the foxtails, golfers will tell. People love him. So it's it's great for everybody. In Missoula, Mark Holyoke for Montana.